Hey guys, it's Jessie. Today I'm doing my January book haul, so I'm going to share first the books that I picked up, and then I picked up a couple comic books, which I have never read before, but I'm excited to jump in because the couple that I have I've heard really great things about and have really enjoyed them so far. So the first one up is... Um, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, which is the sequel to All the Boys That I've Loved Before. Haven't picked up the first book yet, but I've heard really great things about these, so I'm excited to read them. I have heard that the second isn't as good as the first one, but that's all right. I'm just excited. Then we have the trilogy by um, Robert Galbraith, which is a pseudonym for J.K. Rowling. The first one is The Cuckoo's Calling. I actually just snagged this one at Barnes & Noble in their bargain deals for like five bucks or six bucks, so I was really happy. I went searching for The Silkworm, which is the second, could not find it, but I did find um, Career of Evil, which is the third in the series. This one was just released not too long ago, so I used my membership and a coupon from them to snag it. Um, so I will probably pick up that second one sometime soon from Amazon and get going on this because I've heard really good things. Definitely excited for these. Also at Barnes & Noble in the bargain section, I found um, Night Film, which I was so excited. I probably even like squealed out loud because I was super excited. Um, I couldn't believe it. It's like $11 on Amazon just for the paperback. This is a hard cover um, and I got it for like six or seven bucks. So I was really thrilled. I totally felt like this was like a win. Could not have been more excited. Heard such amazing things and I've been on this thriller kick so this is perfect. Alright, so like I had mentioned, I've never read a comic book, um, and then we were in the store, uh, Second and Charles, where I got some of my books from December, and I had ran across this um, because my husband was actually looking at some Marvel comics, and so I just decided, just for giggles, I was going to run around and see if I could find something that kind of caught my eye. Um, as I was browsing, I actually found um, Lady Killer by Joelle Jones and Jamie S. Rich. The title alone caught my attention and I was like, all right, it looks pretty interesting. I kind of love the vibe I was getting from the cover as well with this like 1950s. Um, come to find out she pretends to be this perfect little housewife, but also turns out to be a assassin. So this was super interesting. I'll share my favorite page that totally sold me on this. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen it, but I'm going to share it again anyway because it's really funny. And I just loved the humor of it. She has this little stain on her dress and just says darn it. So I was like, yep, I'm, I'm getting this. Um, I've actually already read it. I will do a review soon. Then we have um, a couple ones by Noelle Stevenson. So I've heard so many great things about Nimona. And I read the first little chapter, which is a front and back page, and thought it was already hilarious. So I'm really looking forward to this as well. And then next up, I have Lumberjanes, um, the volume one and two, and I have heard, again, really great things about these with Noelle Stevenson, um, and I think I've discovered I really like these ones that have a strong female lead and have a little bit of that humor. So, again, I don't think I could have picked any better ones to kind of get started with, and I'm excited to see where this goes, if this really is something I'm interested in or if it's just kind of a little phase. Either way, I'm really excited, and I've had these for a few weeks, and I'm, like, struggling not to pick them up because I have some other things I need to get done first. I know once I pick these up, that's what I'll do the rest of the day. Last part of this little video I want to do is my February TBR, and the first one that's really on my list is You by Caroline Kepnes, and I'm actually going to do a buddy read for this, so if you're interested in doing the buddy read with us, Go ahead and comment below, that way either we can start a group or somehow be able to reach out and share like a hashtag or something so we can all stay connected. And the final two that are on my must read for February would be Fangirl and Carry On. So these have actually been on my list since December and I just picked up Fangirl last night and only a couple pages in but so far really enjoying it. My one reread for February, if I can squeeze it in, would be The Choice by Nicholas Sparks. I'm a huge fan of his, and I'm excited for the movie. I actually plan on going and seeing it with a couple of my girlfriends, so I'm really excited for a little ladies' night out. And then, of course, I want to pick up one of the um, Noelle Stevenson's um, comics. If you've read Lumberjanes or Nimona, vote below and let me know which one I should pick up this month. So I would love to hear if you guys are into either graphic novels or comics or anything like that. But again, thank you for tuning in. I'm super excited for the next month with you guys and cannot thank you enough for being so wonderful as I start uh, this journey in this little community. It's been fantastic. So thank you again and I will see you guys soon.
Bye. Uh, the one page that totally sold me. So if you haven't been following my, if you haven't been following me on Instagram. So if you haven't been following me on Instagram, um, and I will do a review. Sh I'm gonna check this out before again. Take three. And just to see um, how well this movie um, book adaptation, uh, movie adaptation, um, and see how how that kind of. Uh, Bye guys! My eyes got huge!